feeling happy and grateful. It's not just a concept about feeling good. No, it's an actual brain-altering life change. Hi, I'm Allie Bierman. I'm so glad you stopped by here today. You can find me over at yourrelationshipintelligence.com. Now, talking about feeling happy and grateful, that's something I've been doing for a long, long time because it changed my life dramatically. And the thing of it is, there's all kinds of scientific research out there, but the research that's most exciting to me is that done with functional MRIs. Well, what is that? It's taking pictures of the brain while somebody's having an experience. And when they're having an experience involving gratitude, not only does the brain light up right then, but it actually stays active for hours. Now here's what goes on. One of the things that goes on is the release of dopamine. Well, dopamine is kind of addictive, not like a drug that you're going to go out and look for and get involved in clandestine events. No, this is, you get to feel good, and when you're feeling good, you say, hey, I want to do more of this. And the universe says, hey, you're enjoying this, you want more of it? I'm going to give you more reasons for which to feel happy and grateful. What are some of the things that scientists are finding being changed? Well, there's not just anxiety and depression. There are fewer symptoms of illness. There are many, many physical and emotional health benefits. So even people who have been seeing therapists just with the gratitude practice are able to make changes. It's helping with better sleep, with pain, decreasing pain levels, helping with as I said, reduced anxiety and depression with increased energy and vitality. It also helps with relationships because another thing that happens in the brain is people are feeling more connected. Relationship intelligence includes gratitude. So how can you practice gratitude? Well, something I started doing many years ago after that brain surgery kind of made my life a challenge in every moment. I wasn't willing to accept a life of feeling cruddy, so I started listing things for which I feel happy and grateful because the two go together. So first thing every morning, I write, well, not the first thing. First, I do my meditation. But then I write a list of 10 things for which I feel happy and grateful right then. They could be things like, oh, I'm toasty, warm, and it's not snowing out. In fact, I see sunshine happening. It could be, wow, my eyes are really working well, or, wow, I open my mouth to speak, and a sound came out. It can be something I'm looking forward to. Anything that makes you happy, probably different from what makes me happy, being grateful for all I have and all that I don't have, too. Anyway, that sets up a mental state for me to get through the day feeling good. And then I go through the day, and the last thing I do before I turn off the light to go to sleep I make another list. Again, 10 things for which I feel happy and grateful in that moment. Now, that sets up the energy for me to have a really terrific night. Good dreams, peace. Now, the other thing I added a few years ago was anytime I noticed I was feeling less than great, well, yes, I do my, this is how to be happy in this moment, 
And I also, right there, I make a list of 10 things for which I'm grateful in that moment. Just count them right off. And yeah, of course it distracts me, but it also makes that dopamine flow and I feel great and I don't need to feel crummy or upset anymore. So what do you do for which you can feel happy and grateful? And why don't you share it with us? Start out, many people say, I'll find one thing in the morning. Some people say, I'll list three things for which I'm grateful. Whatever works for you, just start it because you're going to notice how differently you feel. Now, someone who interviews lots of doctors and scientists is Dave Asprey. You might know him as the Bulletproof Guy. His most recent book is called Game Changers, and he highlights many of the people who he has interviewed. And there's one doctor who speaks to the topic of gratitude and sound and some other things. But anyway, what he has to say about Dr. Stephen Porges is, and I'm quoting from his book, Game Changers now, Overcoming fear that doesn't serve you as necessary to access your greatness. Courage works, but it takes a lot of energy. Save courage for when your life is on the line. The rest of the time, use gratitude to turn off fear. At the cellular level. So gratitude doesn't just turn off fear, but it's turning it off at the cellular level. Freedom from fear leads to happiness. And happiness makes you perform best at whatever you choose to do. Kind of like the whole thing I've been teaching for very, very, very many years, huh? So being happy and grateful and expressing it, at least to yourself, even if not to others. Mally Beerman, you can find me at yourrelationshipintelligence.com. Do share with us what a difference in how gratitude linked with happiness changed your life.